How we doing Raider Nation? This is Coach Ward coming at you as a part of the 60 Questions Virtual Edition. I'm the Associate AD, Head Girls Basketball Coach and Assistant Football Coach at Randolph and here we go. What did you want to be when you were small? Oddly enough, I always had a passion for basketball, so if I wasn't going to be playing, I wanted to be coaching. What is your favorite game or sport to watch and play? Watch is a close tie between college basketball and college football, but hands down, got to play basketball. Alabama or Auburn or neither? They're both ugly. I do not like either of them, and the answer is go dogs. What do you think is the most important lesson kids learn from participating in a sport? Teamwork. How have you been staying active while at home? It's a lot of walks with our two boys and my wife to go see some cows that are near our house. What would you sing at karaoke night? I'm not sure, but it would be off tune and no one would want to hear it. What's your favorite thing to cook? Whatever my wife made when I got home that night, and it's always delicious. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Prime rib, some garlic mashed potatoes with lots of butter, and then whatever else is on the side. Who is your favorite author? Uh, right now, I'd probably say John Gordon, but as long as the topic is culture and team building, I'm good. What's your nickname? Ooh, WW Dub Square JWW. See you later, Raider Nation. Hi, I'm Tyler Nickelbein, and I teach lower school French at Randolph. What is your favorite subject in school? Well, obviously, I really like French, but the other subject I really am interested in is history. How many languages do you speak? I speak two French and English. In your opinion, what's the best way to get a child interested in learning a new language? Just by making it fun and not overly complicated. What really makes you happy? Spending time with my family. And what are some of your pet peeves? Uh, when someone asks a question and then doesn't listen for an answer. And also when someone doesn't take responsibility for something and blames others. Uh, what motivates you to work hard, especially during distance learning, virtual school? Well, just kind of enjoying what you do and makes it feel like you're not working hard, but in general, working with the children. What is your proudest accomplishment? Surviving the first year of having twins. <laughs> what makes you laugh the most? Um, well, the thing that makes me laugh the hardest is watching silly little videos like on America's Funniest Home Videos. And what is your favorite movie? Well, we watch a lot of kids' movies. I've got four children, um, so I really like watching Frozen with my family. But if you're going to talk about just an adult movie, I really like Goodwill Hunting. What was the last movie you watched? Frozen 2. What did you think of it? I liked it a lot. Hi, Raider Nation. Uh, my name is Brandy Sterling, and I am here to answer a few questions for you. All right, let's get going. What, what do you do at Randolph? At Randolph, I teach for Green Gate. I teach fifth and sixth grade and I do a reading tutorial. Where are you originally from? I am a hometown girl. I uh, was born at Huntsville Hospital and I have lived here my entire life. What is your favorite thing about your career? Oh gosh, my favorite thing about my career is the kids. I love working with the kids. I love being creative, but number one is the kids. Who is your hero, Sonny? Who is my hero? I actually could not think of one particular person as a hero. So um, I have hero qualities that I love and kindness is my number one hero quality. What are your ho ho hobbies? Oh, hobbies. Okay, I love to work out. I love to read, love to read. Um, I do a little bit of artsy stuff, sewing, things like that. What is your go-to activity while we stay at home? Um, I, well, I don't have a lot of time because it's busy, but I do, um, I, I like to work out. Uh, I'm boss at Just Dance. <laughs> I um, do gardening, um, reading, lots of reading. What is your biggest fear? Ooh, my biggest fear. All right, like a physical fear, like uh, Mr. Only Won't Survive. That's strangely specific. Biggest fear kind of in life in general is disappointing people. I don't like to disappoint people. What have you learned most of your most about yourself during distance learning? Um, that I, I do like technology. Maybe not as much as I thought I would. <laughs> what is the most creative way you've taught a lesson? Oh, creative way. So at school, there's lots of creative ways. At Green Gate, we're extremely hands-on. So, I mean, we have dug out fossils. Uh, we do a lot with play. We've done a lot with videos. So we do a, a lot of very creative things. Okay, so I'm speaking with... Delicia Potter, middle school English teacher at Randolph. All right, Miss Delicia Potter. 
Are you an introvert or extrovert? Definitely an extrovert. Do you love or hate roller coasters? I hate roller coasters. There's no control. It's ridiculous. All right. Um, who knows you best? My husband, 100%. Bless his heart. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> um, what is one thing you'll never do again? Um, negotiate bedtime with a tantruming two-year-old? Oh my God, <laughs> never. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how funny would you say you are? I would say my kids think that I'm at like an eight or a nine because I'm their mom. Um, but my husband says I'm like a solid seven. I feel like I'm a nine. <laughs> what was your first car? Oh, it was a Toyota Camry. Her name was Camille. She was Hunter Green. She was amazing. I got her my senior year in high school. If you could join a past or current music group, which one would it be? Oh, God, no question. Aerosmith, um, Dream On, hands down, classic. All right, all right. Favorite fashion trend, past or current? Hmm, let's see. Oh, that's an easy one. Um, vintage 50s A-line dresses. Oh my god, the silhouette. Beautiful. What's one word you would use to describe your first year at teaching at Randolph? Transformative. Definitely. Okay. Um, what's something you've learned from your students during your virtual school? Oh, this is easy. Um, my kids are resilient. My kids are amazingly resilient. Um, it doesn't matter what the obstacle is or the challenge or what they're facing day to day. Um, they can do anything and they can make something interesting and fun no matter where they are, uh, no matter what's happening to them. My kids are resilient at right now. All right, that's all I got for today. Thank you, Ms. Potter. Thank you. Hey friends, I'm Jessica Fornish, co-director of College Counseling. What is your favorite holiday? Mardi Gras. How many states have you lived in? Four, Iowa, Wisconsin, Tennessee, and Alabama twice. What was your favorite meal growing up? My mom would make pork chops and homemade applesauce. Are you clean or messy? Um, I like to pretend I'm clean, but I'm actually messy. Do you collect anything? I collect chihuahuas and shoes. Of the five senses, which is your strongest? Um, I would say my eyesight because I still have 20-20 vision. If you were a superhero, what power would you have? I'd like to be like the Flash because then I could run faster because even though I've done four half marathons, they aren't very fast. What is your favorite animal? Uh, rescue animals. Why? Because every pet deserves a loving home. What's your advice for students as they navigate the college process right now? There are a lot of unknowns and we don't know all the answers, but as long as we keep asking questions and doing our research, we'll figure it out together, I promise. Hey, Dad. What's up? It's time for your 10 questions. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so I guess to start off with, my name is Peter Townsend. I am an upper school visual art teacher. I teach graphic design, photography, it's pretty fun stuff. Um, I'm originally from Northern Kentucky, which is just south of Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, I'm ready for your questions. What do you think is your spirit animal? Um, hmm. I would pick a lion because I'm a Leo. When I played football as a little kid, we were the Erlanger Lions or a snowy owl, but that's not because of Harry Potter. That's because of Rush uh, Fly By Night album cover. There you go. What's your favorite memory at Randolph? Um, the first uh, international interim trip, I took a group of kids to Germany and the Netherlands, and that was fantastic, memorable. Um, it was the first time some of the kids had ever been overseas, and sharing that was once in a lifetime experience. It was great. What would you do if you won the lottery? Lottery. Um, if I were to win the lottery first, I would not quit my job, but I would get a substitute teacher for a year because uh, I think I'd like to take the family on a uh, around the world cruise. What do you think? Does that sound good? All right, good. What's next? What celebrity would you like to have a cup of coffee with? Uh, coffee. Uh, I think uh, David Lynch, favorite director. He drinks a lot of coffee um, and uh, would just uh, love talking to him, but uh, if I had to pick one, it's only 10 or 15 minutes, um, I think I'd pick Keith Richards. He's been a lot of interesting people, and I think that that would be, I think that'd be pretty fun to hear from him. What's next? Are you related to anyone famous? Um, 
Yeah, on my mother's father's side, um, we are related to Ulysses S. Grant. Would you rather go to Alaska or Hawaii? Oh, Hawaii, no doubt. Why Hawaii? Um, well, that, I think that question is really about um, being alone and where you would want to relax. Doesn't seem like uh, being surrounded by a bunch of ice is relaxing to me, so. Palm trees and sandy beaches for me. What's the best advice you received? Uh, the best advice I've received is to not accept advice. What's the best advice you've given? Based on the last response, I could not be the judge if I've ever given any good advice. What is the most important thing you want people to know about Randolph School? Um, academics are fantastic, but more importantly, the relationships that we have with our students, one another, and the Randolph community. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to teach.